and welcome to Poptography. Today we're going behind the scenes of the image we created using Morgan Elsbeth number 684 from the Ahsoka series. So what I first did is I grabbed an image from Adobe Stock. Um, it was funny, I actually tried using a different background, um, something I had used before, changed the colors and repurposed it. Um, and I just wasn't feeling the, the image at all. So again, I went out to Adobe Stock um, start looking for some kind of dynamic backgrounds and I came up with this one. I thought this was really nice. It kind of had that imperial look to it um, as well as the red accents I thought would have been nice to uh, kind of compliment uh, Morgan Elsbeth herself. So after we, we finally figured out what background and everything we you know obviously had to light that up. So we put Morgan Elsbeth on this on our set. We had our digital uh, our virtual volume our digital background basically is nothing more than my computer monitor a few feet behind her and then we started to light that up and I use what I typically use is a five light loom cube setup so we started with our first loom cube of the five light loom cube setup um, with that being diffused with some barn doors and that rim light from that left side is very bright and it's given some separation here on that left side you see how it's adding the highlight and everything like that our second loom cube again trying to kind of carve her out we lit this one the opposite side on the right side and from there uh, we used uh, some diffusion and some barn doors and really added a nice strong highlight there coming from the other side our third loom cube we used a hair light because i thought morgan elsbeth the sculpt has such a great um, design in the hair and so did the character so i wanted to give that just and give it a hair light to really accentuate that then i used um a fourth loom cube that is kind of almost Rembrandt um, from the one side and that was on a snoot skimming across her giving her that kind of nice light now to fill that little bit in because it was adding a little bit of shadow I liked it but I still wanted just a little more light and a catch light in the eyes so we took a fifth loom cube um, kept that very low powered uh, with some diffusion and a little globe on that to kind of spread that light out um, and that's how we were able to kind of light this Morgan Elsbeth. From here, I brought the image into Photoshop and we separated Morgan Elsbeth from the backdrop. And I went and actually replaced the backdrop with a, um, basically one that was not as out of focus because I wanted to get, again, keep the little bit of depth in that. So we replaced the image and we actually blurred that within Photoshop and actually changed its perspective a little to match exactly what we had in our digital volume when we had it on set. Then played with some uh, levels, a little retouching here and there uh, on the image, on the, the pop itself. And then we played uh, with some vibrance, um, like I said, levels, saturation, and that was pretty much it. The next pieces, we added uh, a little green mist. So I had a stock image uh, from used previously. Um, it was blue, so I actually tweaked that color to green and dropped that in as a layer. And then I also wanted to kind of give her that Night Sister magic. So I uh, created some kind of glow around her hands as well. So just again, just to kind of bring something, because I was really kind of disappointed. didn't have the map. She wasn't holding Mother Talzin's sword. So I wanted to do something kind of cool. Um, I figured I'd do something like that, where she's kind of summoning the Night Sister magic. So we created this image so if you enjoyed this kind of content today please hit the like definitely hit the subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next episode of poptography until then may the force be with you